Hey guys, today I'll be taking you through our GeoAD app. When you first launch the app, this is what it uh, looks like. Um, so let's first approach this from a caretaker side. So whenever you click on this, you'll be asked to log in. And if you don't, you'll need to register. And just in case uh, you guys thought that we don't have this implemented, it doesn't have anything, login failed. So uh, this means that we have to register. So let's go ahead and do that. So my full name is Gideon Wu, and now that that's done, I can go ahead and register. And it will now give me uh, a code that I have to remember. Click OK, it automatically logs me in. Uh, here is where we add, add a patient list and we need their patient ID. So uh, let's go ahead and log out um, and start with the patient side. So the, the patient side works exactly the same way. And we'll just start by registering here. My name is Gid this time. Right, so let's register. And now we have another pa another patient ID. So log in. And as you can see, it login successful. So um, with this set up, we can go ahead and if we go ahead and go back and call caretaker, uh, we don't have a caretaker yet, of course. So we let's go ahead and go set that up in the caretaker side. We're gonna log in. So now we can add a patient. So our patient ID before was 1.9439. And once we do that, you'll see that my name shows up on the list and I can go ahead and click on that. Once I'm here, I can have access to the patient's information, which is uh, here. Uh, we have uh, patient location. Um, so Kiefer, could you start moving real quick? Sure. Uh, so as you can see, uh, he starts off in the University of British Columbia and um, every about seven or so seconds, we update uh, his location. Uh, so this means that this is real time. Um, and uh, yeah, depending on a person's route, you can really like, this is useful for tracking where they're going. Um, and that's about it. And then we have managed geofences. Currently there's none here. And that is also removing the patient. So we can move, move but let's not do that for now. Um, managing geofences uh, once you, requires you to open up the map. So once we're in the map here, uh, you can see our current location. Uh, and all you have to do is hold down and you can choose whatever geofence type you want. And then let's go with classic for now. Um, let's enter classic and uh, change the geofence radius. Once you go ahead and click OK, it's gonna look like that. Um, and uh, whenever this happens, uh, it automatically goes, uh, and whenever the patient opens up their app, it automatically adds the geofence to their application and it calls their API and it does this all through the server. So this is synced uh, through our server. The same can be done with uh, removing. So when you remove, uh, here it is. Uh, well, let's, let's try this out. Um, and this is a different color. And of course it's gonna sync over to the uh, patient side. And if we have to remove, we can go ahead and remove and we can move, uh, choose the list of names. So then we, let's remove the classic. And as you can see that disappears and it says Geofence updated successfully. And that also pushes to the server. Let's go ahead and return and log out. So we can go to the patient side. As you can see, when we go here, we can call caretaker now and that automatically enters the uh, phone number that was saved on the caretaker side. Um, and we can go ahead and call uh, for any assistance. That ends the tour of uh, the UI itself. Thank you for watching.